totality the class last semester. And um, I don't want to hide that I was very frustrated at the beginning. I didn't know what was going on and I wasn't sure this is going to work. But um, at the same time, right now, I'm very excited about the class. It really makes a difference for the students. My class is very different than any other class that I've taught um, in math at Truman College. To check the solution, what you will do, you will plug in the negative 4 into your... What actually happens in the class is more like a lab. Uh, I'm teaching, actually presenting or lecturing for about 15, maximum 15 minutes. And the whole class time, the students work on assignments. I had students moving around and helping each other. Um, we all knew, all the students knew. Uh, their colleagues' names, uh, they were like friends. I would never go back to uh, teaching a traditional class. It was very different. I had a great experience. I would be very happy to share with you my excitement and the students' excitement as well. Everything right now it's like computerized, computerized yeah. And yeah. Uh, especially when you get a job or you work somewhere else, so you have to know how to use a computer first of all. At least you got to have some kind of uh, computer background you got to have to get a better job. Okay, so just start typing. Start typing. Ah, uh -uh, nope. Just start typing. Start typing. Start typing. Put your fingers on your keys. Start typing. Oh, the students love the studio classroom. When they first come in and see all the computers, some of them are a little bit intimidated. I was very petrified when the first time I used a computer in class because I did not know at all how to use a computer. But they recognize that they really need computers and they really need computer literacy for their lives. When I came to the uh, first class, like I didn't know how to use a blackboard at all. But you know, step by step, like day by day, I just developed my skills and I just know much more now. Uh, my grades are getting better using a computer, especially my grandma gets better. So as we go throughout the semester, we introduce step-by-step -step different things that they can do in Microsoft Word or on the internet that are really prerequisites to being able to complete college work. Since we got computers in the classroom, we can save some time. Instead of writing or like wasting time in writing, we can just save our stuff on, on our flash drives come back anytime we want to make changes in our draft. It makes our work much easier. Like any classroom, each individual teacher takes it and makes it their own. But I think it's just tremendously exciting. And it's very motivating to see the students be able to take control of their own learning. Some people, they don't have a computer at home. But here, with the computers, using a laptops in class gives equal opportunity to study for everyone. After my class, you can see half the class sitting there and they may be working on um, typing skills, they may be practicing their online grammar work, but what's exciting about the studio classroom is that it allows them the opportunity for me to give them this practice and for them then to take it and run with it. I've actually encountered students who come up to me and say, well, I'm ready, I'm moving on to the next level now and I wanted to take another studio classroom class, can you tell me which sections of 101 or 102 or studio classroom? And I'm always really happy when I can tell them, yes, there is a section that's a studio classroom at that level. A lot of students will go to school. They just will not quit. The introduction of technology in colleges facilitates both teaching and learning. All right, nice answer. The infrastructure of the, the studio classroom really takes two forms. One is the, the technology itself, so the laptop computers, the projector, the wireless internet connections, the audio, um, the ability to uh, use multimedia software. The other part of it is the, if you will, conceptual uh, infrastructure of it. It involves students in working on projects and working on teams in interacting with each other and with 
teachers. We think about it as a kind of the center of a networked college. A team of, 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 of three members of the math faculty in the summer of 2005 redesigned one section of Math 110. Those students, in terms of retention grade distribution, were about 14 points higher than the average in the math I think when teachers work together, they can leverage the experience, they can share different viewpoints, and they design a stronger, more robust architecture that can be used by the next generation of teachers. Well, the primary focus of, of the project is retention. Uh, we think that if we connect students to resources, to each other, to teachers, that they're more likely to stay in school and they're more likely to learn more. Over the past two years, we've gathered data both from St. Augustine College and from our own studio classrooms and we've discovered that students in most classes are retained at higher rates. What's great about the studio classroom is that it integrates student and instructional services. The real innovation comes when the, the teachers work with student services liaisons to help guide students through all, all of the other services that the college provides. And though the results are slightly mixed by, uh, by discipline, that in fact uh, students also have uh, better grades.